Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Living Life at Life U. I am your host, Dr. Veronica Garcia, and today I am joined by one of my very own students, Mr. Chandler Willie. How are you? Welcome. I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I'm so good, so good. <laughs> so excited to have you here. Um, there's a lot of beautiful um, involvement that you have on campus that I think is really important for the people to know. Um, but let's start at the beginning. Why chiropractic? Yeah, um, so my journey with chiropractic is probably similar to a lot of people that you know. So I originally considered medicine and that's what I wanted to do for a long time. Mm -hmm. and it wasn't until I had a pretty profound experience with a chiropractor that kind of changed my whole trajectory that mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I think this is where I need to go. This is pretty cool. Um, a lot of people can benefit from this because not a lot of people know what we do, right? There's a right. big misconception about what chiropractors can offer and what they do. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that things are kind of changing with social media. Mm -hmm. There's good and there's bad to it, but I yeah. think there's a lot that we can offer the world. And I said, I want to be a part of that and I want to do that. So it's been, it's been a cool experience so far. That's amazing. That's beautiful. And when, when did you have, when did you start school? So I'm two years in. Okay. Right. Okay. You're it's ninth quarter. Eighth quarter. Eighth quarter. Yep. Your eighth quarter. Yep. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So um, a little bit over that halfway mark. Yeah. How's that feeling? Yeah. It's been good. You know, it kind of felt like I hit a, a hit a benchmark. I uh -huh. hit a checkpoint. So it's kind of like, all right, we're at the on the tail end of things now. And it's been it's been awesome. That's beautiful. I love that. And I also know that you have a particular interest, which is a huge interest of mine, which is functional neurology. Yeah. Talk to me about functional neurology club. What's your role and a little bit of why that even started? Yeah. So functional neurology. So my experience with the chiropractic before school was actually with functional neurology. Yeah. I went to a functional neurologist not knowing he was a chiropractor. Hmm. And I said, this is what I want to do. What do I have to do to get to where you are? Yeah. You got to go to chiropractic school. Yeah. So Okay, here I am. So I came to Life University for the functional neurology program. Mm -hmm. On campus, we have a club. Mm -hmm. We have the clinic mm -hmm. um, that I've been involved with since first quarter. And so I've been an officer of the functional neurology club for a little bit now, um, just as a teaching officer. So yeah. I love teaching. Um, I'm teaching on campus. I teach as part of the club. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's just really cool to be able to explain and let students know what we do mm -hmm. and uh, and help them gain a better understanding of what functional neurology is because it's kind of daunting to students. Mm -hmm. It can be really intensive. It seems like a lot of information. Mm -hmm. So when I can kind of break it down and give it to students, it makes it more interesting. And we, we try to get more people that way too because it, yeah. makes, it uh, makes it more palatable for people. Yeah, and for those who are familiar with chiropractic, but didn't even know that we had a realm of functional neurology. Mm -hmm. What, can you break down what exactly, what's the difference between a traditional chiropractor yeah. and a functional neurology chiropractor? For sure. So functional neurology uses like a separate uh, system of analysis. So there are specific things that we look at, um, like gait, you know, how a person walks. We look at how their eye movements function, mm -hmm. which they teach in school, but we go to a deeper level, yep. right? Looking at how their eye movements work, looking at their balance mm -hmm. and things like that. And so we can assess very specific areas of the brain and with functional neurology using those things and then use treatments to be able to help and improve those things mm -hmm. as well as using chiropractic as a treatment for that too. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that. And, and one of the things that I always um, have the beautiful conversation with my patients is that Hey, I'm not interested in whether or not you can do this. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in whether or not how well you can right. do this. Um, in in the sense of when there is that fight or flight response, can you truly respond and adapt and and right. live and fulfill and do and accomplish all the things? It's Love beautiful it. that that you're already starting that conversation yeah. early on because that when it comes to practice, it just gets deeper and deeper right. and also simpler and simpler, which is such an interesting True. conversation right. when we are in, in practice versus when I have the conversation with you guys in clinic. I can you know, geek out and dive in and, and do all the things. Right. When I come to my practice, I'm like, okay, how can I break this down to a five-year-old? Make it really simple. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So Chandler, um, tell me a little bit about how has your experience been with the clinic with, um, you've been at NeuroLife yeah. Institute. So talk to me about NeuroLife Institute and the experience just being there and shadowing and working there. Yeah, so since my first quarter, I showed up first quarter uh, with Dr. Federley, who's been on the podcast. Yeah. And I, you know, I just said, hey, I'm here for functional neurology. Can I shadow you? Yeah. And ever since first quarter, I've spent somewhere between two to six hours a week just shadowing. And I just stand behind him and I watch him treat these patients. And it's pretty, pretty remarkable. And uh, it's been cool because as I've gone through the program, now I know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have to explain to me like, oh, this is what I'm doing. This is what's happening here. Did you see this? Did you see that? But instead I can stand behind him and say, I saw that. Yeah. I know what I'm going to do. And as he's going through treatment, he doesn't have to explain it anymore. Yeah. Because I just, I know what's happening. So yeah. it's just been really cool as preparation and 
given me a lot of like clinical experience too, because mm -hmm. now I know what it's like in practice, mm -hmm. not just, you know, in the classroom. Yeah, that's beautiful. And it's great to have that exposure earlier yeah. on, um, just so that we don't hit a wall as soon as we graduate or right. we go into peak. For sure. And then it's not like I've, I'm just, uh, I'm blindsided by what the real world is like outside of school. <laughs> oh, you've got it. You, you're setting up for right. yourself for success. That's amazing. Right. Chandler, how's clinic going? You are in first quarter of clinic. Yeah. How's clinic going? How has that been that experience of trans or just transitioning from being 100% on the classroom setting to now kind of handling the classroom setting and also some patients? Yeah, it's been different because for a lot of the program, we're taught kind of the theory of how to adjust. Right. Yeah. And we've kind of practiced adjusting and, and, you know, learning how to, you know, palpate and motion people's necks and, and the back and the spine and whatnot. But it's really different now being in clinic and being like, OK, now I have to learn how this works in practice, mm -hmm. how it is in real life. And so it's definitely been an adjustment mm -hmm. for sure without, you know, pun pun, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, it's been an adjustment for sure. But, uh, you know, I feel like every day that I go at clinic, every day that I spend there, every time I'm able to work with the patient, it gets a little bit easier. Yeah. Right. Right. And it's been it's been a, a change for sure, because mm -hmm. up until this point, it's all been classroom. Yeah. So now it's kind of more practical, but yeah. it's, it's been awesome. I've loved it so far. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I'm really excited for everything that you have to offer. You have you are one of the amazing students that we have in clinic and we're definitely really excited <laughs> to have you and see you grow in it Thank you. because we can see it. Right. We, we can definitely see it. We can talk about it and it's beautiful to have that experience and to have someone that has the initiative and has the wanting to keep continue learning and open to just express. Yeah. It's really beautiful to see and to watch and to experience. So thank you. Thank you awesome. for being open. Thank you. That warms my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, good luck on your finals. I know they're coming thank up. You. Yep. Um, you're about to kill them, I'm sure. Um, good luck with just the Functional Neurology Club. And also, how do, do you guys have the schedule for next quarter? And if so... Um, as far as next quarter, I don't know quite, quite yet. Some of those things are up in the air kind of as every quarter comes and goes. Mm -hmm. Usually for the last little bit, we've been on Wednesdays mm -hmm. from five to seven. Uh, mm -hmm. It's usually a two hour lecture. Lecture and we teach a lot of clinical experience and skills and whatnot, but uh, we'll definitely be posting that kind of as each quarter comes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're interested in part, being part of that functional neurology club, I know that you guys have even two levels or degrees to it, which yeah. is really awesome. Um, that I was part of functional neurology, neuro nice. neurology club yeah. when I was a student and having to take the 100 hour question and yep. doing all the things yep, and, still got it. and going into advance. <laughs> it was honestly a very awesome, beautiful experience. So it's really exciting to have you and see you in this capacity and see you guys grow and continue growing the functional neurology club. Um, and if you're interested in it, I'm sure that on the Engage page. That's where yep. a lot of those announcements come into play. So if you're a student, go to your Engage page and see what are they doing for next week. We also use Instagram. We've got Instagram. I don't remember the handle. We just changed it, but uh, <laughs> it's on there somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure if you search functional neurology Atlanta or something around yeah, that nature. I want to say it's functional neurology club or funk neuro club ATL. So that's awesome. Well, please go ahead and um, <laughs> you can always follow them. They post really, really awesome. Um, educational post yeah. and also just invitational posts as well. So good luck. Good luck on your Thank finals. You. Good luck on everything that you do. I'll see you in clinic yeah. and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Living Life, A Life View. Bye-bye.